Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of the digital. We're gonna start this. Welcome one back, over. fuck faces. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the me, digital wait. degenerates podcast. There we go. Sorry, that's a tongue wait. twister. Wait, that reminds me. Every time that he used to make TikToks, I wish that I would record how many times it took him to say shit because he would be like, and then it. it. Fuck. <laughs> Just so you know, know I'm right? still recording. We're we're doing one take Good. here. Let's go. One take. Full same. It doesn't matter. <laughs> so anyways, our, uh, our, just our host here, uh, Sammy, we got Grimmy and myself, Mike. Uh, Sammy's a little patriotic today. Welcome we back on our... We also fuck the patriarchy, so... <laughs> Welcome back to the 4th of July weekend with the, the digital degenerates. There we go. I got it out. We're good. The double D's. The double D. Uh, oh, oh, that oh, was shit. inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I'm getting spicy in here already. Well, I mean, we are going to get spicy because we're we're talking about kinks. And, and glissies. I mean, we're going to try our best to not kink shame here because we don't do that. We don't kink shame. Oh, I'm going to kink shame somebody. But we, we're actually a few we're groups. Gonna, we're going to kink question. If you will, no, it's sh- shaming. We have Me some shaming. We have some questions for you kinky people out there because we've been looking at trying to figure out what we're going to talk about this episode. And Reddit, if you will, is a goddamn gold mine of weird kinks and things that we have found. So we just we have questions. Um, what's what's a weird kink? for you so the i think the weirdest one that i saw and this wasn't posted in the actual post but this is one that i've just come across um through my reddit adventures if you will um but it was a girl who she listed herself as a minority female and she wanted to be degraded and shamed by a quote-unquote trumper in bed so i mean that's weird. That's a weird one. I mean, like, the, I mean, you know, rule 34 of the internet is there's something for everybody out there. I yeah, mean, but on. like, come on. Nobody <laughs> likes talking politics and to bring it into the bedroom like that. Like, that's that's weird. That would be the fastest way to get me to dry up weird. drier than the Sahara. <laughs> Tell me about your next four year plan. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> like for fuck's sake. <laughs> I think a weird one for me is people who form relationships with inanimate objects. Like, did you hear about that lady that was like married to the the fair fucking ride or whatever like that she had this massive you know that fair ride that's got like all the seats and it like spins around and you sit in this little cage type deal yeah mm. and Sammy knows that one really well yeah yeah, yeah. so they, that's, uh, it's, it's like like uh yeah it's a popular one i like to some like <laughs> random parking lot fair and uh, uh this lady actually owns one and she's in a relationship with it like she's quote unquote married to it she has sex with it and believes that her touching it in certain ways makes it feel good and what the fuck yeah that, like, i don't I, I don't understand there's another one that the the guy fucks his car i, I mean it's like tree hugging where? but like to like the extreme ex- what do you mean where the extent where does he fuck it i, I mean there's a lot of holes on from the car what sure i've read find. is he likes to you know, pleasure himself onto the fender. He probably puts a pocket pussy in the fucking tailpipe. As far as I know from reading the article or reading the thing about it, uh, he just jerks off onto it, which is strange enough into it itself. I mean, I just find it weird. It's just odd. Yeah, Why yeah. do people do that? Also, the people that love balloons. Yeah. Did, did, did yeah, you ever I, see that one? I, I think they the, did like a, a TLC special where it was like my strange thing. And the dude like loved TLC blowing special. up balloons. And he was like, I just love to listen to him pop. And he just that's loves what the gets sound. his. Yeah, that's what gets their jollies. There's a group of these people. Uh, if you're one of those people, let me know what that does for you, because I just can't I mentally fathom what what's up with it. I think that I have seen. 
that episode. And I think it's like my weird, like my weird obsessions or something like that. That's what it's like. That's what TLC that's what had it is. My weird obsessions. Like yeah, they have the, but, they're my weird addictions or whatever, where people drink gasoline yeah. and shit. Like, or like somebody ate, like I saw one on that. My weird addictions is like, I eat my cremated husband so that I can oh, like feel yeah. closer to him. And you're like, <laughs> you're this a little is, fucking this is, psychotic. This is bringing a South Park episode on. Yeah, I know, right? You become, become <laughs> possessed and shit. That's I don't I don't know of any like weird ones for me that I've seen. Maybe like the only one that I could say that I was kind of like not seen, but like heard of, I guess. Was uh instead of like, you know how some guys and gals they enjoy the golden shower. Yeah. I'm not one of those, but I just it's but I've seen somebody that wants to be peed in. That's weird. That's like, also a South Park episode. <laughs> no, I I never watched South Park in my life. Peeing in their butts. But like, you know what I'm talking about? No, no, not in, in the not butts, in their butts. Yeah. Right in, in, the old... in, in their old baby cave is where they want it to be peed in. The old meat oven. See, like yeah, and I, like that's all fine, like whatever. But like. I think if you're That's into stuff like that, like more power yeast to infection. you. But cream <laughs> yeast infection. <laughs> I, I think that we should practice safe kinking here. You know, I feel like that's not sanitary and that's not safe. Like I feel like that's gonna, yeah, like Sammy said, it's gonna cause some major uh, issues. Always have a safe on. word that can be confusing. What's your safe word, Grimmy? I don't think I have one. I'm just yeah. an all-out guy. You just go with the flow, huh? Yeah, just go with it. You're an all-out guy, but you refuse to let anybody. Go in your back door. So, yeah. I mean, everybody has their limits. Yeah, that's my limit. You don't know until you try. That's that's true. I mean, I always heard a joke that there was a there's a safe word as meatloaf because I would do anything for love, but I won't do that. Like the meatloaf song. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> You're done. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> like the joke I told you earlier. <laughs> what? Okay, so so what's what's one kink that's weird to you? But if somebody like. But if like one of you two were like up to it, like say like Sammy, OK, what's a weird kink? But if Mike came up to you and was like, hey, let's do this, you would be like. Do you really have to ask? I mean, don't you already know the answer? No, no, I know the answer. I know the answer, but I'm I'm asking like something like really, really weird. Like there's what's some weird kinks? Like people dress up as furniture, and then they just want to be sat on. Grimmy, Grimmy, what do you research? (laughs) No, actually, listen. I could could tell you. What do you? I could tell you probably a plethora of weird fucking king. Do you know there's like some fucking like. I mean, you got your basic like weird furry people that dress up like furries and stuff like yeah. that. And then yeah. they have like a fuck party. And then you have people <laughs> that dress up like furniture or some okay, shit. I have a question before we answer this. I have a question about the furry community because I don't I haven't done my own research on this. But like, do the costumes have like genitals on them and they like rub them together as part of their sex party or do like they have like a hole where they pull out like their actual I think they they have a hole you know okay. like they, they they have actual human I don't think yeah they, they but I mean there's different <laughs> yeah, levels yeah. of furry isn't there there's like people dressed up in like bunny costumes and shit like you know like the Easter bunny costumes you obviously didn't watch TLC because there was a TLC or, episode on that too or is it people that just like wear cat ears and a cat tail and like paint their face and no shit? like there's like there's people who go like in depth. With like this. it's like cosplay to the extreme. Like they have yeah. whole suits that are like, like not like the ugly like Easter Bunny like at the mall. Like these are very intricate, very thought out. Like these suits are like thousands that, of dollars of suits. Yeah, they're like hand custom made. Like yeah, and they're they're faces or helmets or whatever. Are there are like, people that like get like these super expensive masks. Just to dress up and play as like dogs. Yeah. And all they want to be done is have like somebody like walk them. Yeah. And play and fetch. Like, like that's, yeah. that's a fucking weird thing. For I think me. that's another fetish that I 
It's it a, is a, a fetish, little, and it's, it's just a weird, weird thing. Well, there's like I saw one. one about a horse. I saw the, see, a TLC. The horse, yeah. TLC's got the weirdest shit. If you ever want to learn some st- stuff, go to TLC. You want, you know, you want to see people's weird foot diseases that they got to get fucking tore apart. Uh, giant ass fucking pimples. I don't understand why people let these motherfuckers grow like that for like 35 years. Or like, and then the, like my uh, 600 yeah. pound life. That's yeah, my 600 pound life. Yeah, classic. You know. Mm-hmm. Um, what's another one? They what, what about the what about the like ones. what about the baby? I like my strain t shirt. Like what no, about that's, um, that's crossing line? That's that's super fucking like, weird. Like I want you to put a diaper on me and like clean my shitty ass type fucking. Yeah, they get like this giant. They get this giant um like um crib. Crib. Yeah, I was trying to find a find the word for it, but this giant oversized crib, and that's what they want to. But sleep like, in. I wouldn't say that's more of a, uh, that's not a kink. That's more of like a lifestyle decision. Like they go. That's like a kink fetish is, uh, type deal. I mean, it might not be sexual, but. At least, hopefully, it's not sexual. I'm gonna say, hopefully, that's not sexual. A lot of those ones that's super weird. aren't yeah. sexual, and it's they they go into that because they had a lot of childhood trauma, so they feel like they missed out on their childhood. So they find someone like a partner or whatever that they can completely like 100% trust, and that's when they kind of develop that kink. So that they can kind of like experience that childhood that they didn't have. Like somebody, I guess, who's like, "Ew, my computer's so dusty." Oh, sorry. Somebody who's uh like was in the foster system and abused from like the age of two or some shit like that. Like that's what a lot of those ones I see. Or people who like have daddy issues and like that's the the daddy and the little ones, or they like are a little girl. Like they act like little girls and like call their dom or yeah, I feel partner like, or whatever daddy I feel like a lot of kinks derive from you hear about trauma. how schools are letting kids to now shit in litter, litter boxes if they identify as a furry I don't know how true that is that's about 100% true because I saw a fucking article about it I mean this has to be like an ultra rare occurrence that they're like making this seem like this is like a thing hey, now hey it's the, it's the nuance man <laughs> You don't want to go into the bathroom anymore. You know, stalls are taken. Just say that you're a cat and go shit in the litter box. Sometimes, you know what, though? I feel like legitimate because if you have tummy problems and you just can't wait for somebody to finish jerking off in the school bathroom, then you know what? I will go shit in a litter box if I have to shit that bad. Meow, meow, motherfucker. You ever shit outside? I've peed outside quite a bit. Uh, yeah, I, have shit outside. The I have. Um, we were we were actually at the lake, um, and uh, when did you shit outside? This was before you and I were a thing, but we were at the lake. Oh, and you uh, shit outside like I took like, my I took my sea dew over to um, a little island on the lake and just uh, laid a log on the freaking shoreline. You need to get outside more. And then you just get in the water and just, you know, wash your butthole off and you're good to go. You asked the question. I just answered it. I don't know I why like you're giving I, me such a look right now. Because because that that's a lot like a long time ago. Like. You haven't shit outside like within the past like year. No. I don't go outside. Nope. It clearly we're not. We don't we don't play army there, yeah. bud. Yeah. What? Uh, oh yeah. Well, I've shit outside. No, I've shit in the back of a dump truck. Uh, in lots of places. It was a literal I've, dump truck at that point. It was literally a dump truck. <laughs> dump truck. The weirdest thing that I've ever seen. Actually, I, scratch that. I didn't see, but I did hear someone pooping. Is uh, when we were overseas and we were on a convoy, right? Uh, one of my buddies had to take a shit. But we can't just pull over and stop the whole thing. Like you, you either got to go somewhere. And no, but he was driving. This was the this was oh. the problem. And this is where you know you got to have that good bond with somebody to be, you know, close enough where you could be like, dude, I have to poop. Will you ho- open hold this MRE bag with me while I'm driving so I can poop in this bag? And you know what? I'm not going to have him. that good of a relationship with anybody in the world. 
<laughs> with nobody if, in the world. If, if Sammy, You're if, saying if Sammy that came up to me and was like, I really need you to hold this bag open so I can poop in it, I'm be like, you better find someone else. Really? Because we're not gro- we're not gonna cross that boundary. You guys aren't that close, huh? We're we're not You already you already crossed a boundary. How? Yeah, when you had to put a suppository in my ass after we had our kid. Yeah. And that was yeah, something I will uh, never this... do again. <laughs> do you see how mean he is to me, Grimmy? I don't know why he is so mean to you. I don't either. All my I do is just... Peg 2022. You said you All were changing teams. <laughs> slave over everything yeah, for him. But... I make sure his whole life is perfect, and he's like, yeah, I'm not I'm... doing anything for you again. I'm see, but here's the difference loyal. is, if I asked her to put a suppository in my ass, she would 100% be so excited to do it. You would be fisted. She would, she'd be like, yeah, I just had to make sure it was all the way in and it would be like all the way up to like the palm of the knuckle. She's getting one of those giant vet gloves where they go into cows and she's moving it all up and your butthole. She's just going to put the, the suppository in her fist and just put it in and drop. Yeah. She's got to be like, you got to make sure it, you know, it gets into your system. Gonna, have to. Yeah. I mean, it's a necessity at that point. She's looking out for your health. You should actually thank her. I looked after hers, too. Just Yeah, but you won't help her poop in a bag. No, that's not health. That's not health related. That's yeah. You need to I mean, find she a place could to pull over. She could. She, well, you can't see you can't pull over. Right. But you know what, though? You you, uh, you say that. But whenever we have to go on a road trip, you get so annoyed with me because I do have tummy problems. And I'm like, hey, you need to find some place like my stomach is really hurting and you're like oh my god can you just like not well no actually i will shit in the car or See, i will shit in a toilet you here's better pick some place between the both of us okay here's the difference he can, can hold his poop for I days i can hold my poop for like two days if i have two to. days yeah like if i he have to can. how many times wait a, a serious question serious because i think i might be broken but how many times do you poop a day um so since i changed my diet i actually probably poop like two or three times a week that's weird so i Used also to, I kind like of changed my day. diet i also changed my diet and it literally hasn't changed for me so I'm, I'm talking maybe like two to three times a day if she like if she like just eats then it's like 20 minute timer is put on 20 that's, minute timer yeah like 20 perks minutes not she having, has 20 minutes to find the toilet perks of not having my gallbladder and eating food that's really shitty for you. Wow. Even when I eat like good food, it doesn't matter. Like, you know, like better food or whatever. It doesn't matter. I can eat chicken with like no seasoning on it and plain rice and probably shit the same as if I ate fried chicken with a lot of flavor and fried french fries or some shit like that. Like it, it does not matter. I don't think so. I, I, I think we should I, put this to the test. Bro. Do a week of nothing but just like, regular like I'm chicken. I'm going to get you like rice. the greasiest like Popeye's chicken. And I'm going to set a timer and see how long it takes you. Sometimes you don't even finish a meal. Do you like, like Popeye's? Running. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah, we I don't really like Popeye's do you guys have, here. Do, do you guys have Chick-fil-A? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, Chick-fil-A or Popeye's? Chick-fil-A, 100%. Okay, Chick Fil A or KFC? Chick Fil A. Still Chick Fil A. Mm. Because it's not German KFC, so. Apparently, the uh, the KFCs here in Alabama have uh, gizzards, fried gizzards. Not anymore. Not anymore. Um, yeah, Would you was, try one? No, I, I've I wouldn't try one. I'm, no, mine. that's like an organ for the chicken to help digest all the other food. I mean, people eat livers, chicken livers. I, I tried a chicken heart. So you're literally eating a gizzard, which is like the garbage disposal of a chicken. Yeah, it yeah, doesn't sound appetizing. Maybe. You wouldn't try it, though? No. I don't know if you know this about me, Grimmy, but uh, I have the palate of a five to seven yeah, year that's, old. I'm asking the wrong person here. You are. Mike. <laughs> you know, I'll I'll try a lot of stuff, but you know, this, that's not something that sounds I, appetizing to me. I will try more weird like meat type deals, like, you know, like organs, stuff like that versus Mm-mm. like a vegetable. Mm-mm. 
You will never see me try. No fucking meat organ. Brain? Uh-uh. I tried cow a cow tongue? I tried Ugh. a cow's tongue once. I, I did one time. It was in and so this is how it was I presented really to me. Chewy. It is. And it's exactly the way you would picture it is if you were like making no. out and you decided to bite down on their tongue. <laughs> It's it's like it, it I'm like getting brings it to life. Listening to you talk about how, this and how nasty, like, <laughs> like bite your tongue real quick. No, and it's like basically the same thing, except you're just following through and you're just biting all the way down. Same consistency. Mm-hmm. No, yep. No. Nope. So it was either a cow's <laughs> tongue or uh, a hoof, which I'm not quite sure how you like yeah, eat like a how hoof. How do you eat a hoof? But I want to apparently vomit. you can you just like, like suck the marrow out of it or something. I honestly I don't know, but I didn't give it a shot. I picked the tongue over the hoof. Like, why did you have to pick? Why? What was the situation you were in that you had to pick? One that was it. It was it was I was at a, a one of my um, Louse's friends barbecue and oh. he goes, hey, have you ever had or he's like, yeah, you've never had these food, you know, because you're you're sheltered and white. So you don't know this kind of food. <laughs> and uh, I was like, okay. So he's like, cow tongue or cow hoof? And I'm like, he's like, you got to pick one. And I'm like, fuck. Okay, well, give me the tongue. And he's like, all right. It was weird. It was weird. I thing. wish that I could convey on this camera the goosebumps <laughs> that are on me right now because I'm so grossed out. Okay, so on the topic of food, what's what's a food <laughs> that is like really overhyped that a lot of people are like crazy about that you can't stand? Pickles. Pickles. What? Pickles? Avocados. Same with. I can give you a. F- I can give you a fucking list. I, keep going. Name them off. Let's r- let's rattle them off. Pretty much. Pretty much all vegetables. Agree. Get rid of them. Get Agree. rid of them. If it's especially, green, it's going Sammy's mouth. Especially avocados. I think avocados are way too hyped up for their own good. Yeah. I mean, you get the same prize inside every single time. Like, put a different toy in there. <laughs> it's like a fucking <laughs> nature's Kinder Egg. <laughs> yeah, you just get a, you just get, a, yeah, you get a Kinder Egg, and I mean, it's just a block of wood, and in the avocado, people just slice the fuck out of it. It's weird. I saw a picture the other day of somebody who um, took a bite out of like an avocado, like just like a whole avocado, just took a bite out of it, and it's like, I don't know what y'all did, but. I don't know why you guys like this so much, but this shit's nasty. And then uh, it said an edit underneath, and it's like apparently I have pissed off a very large majority of the Spanish community because they're all commenting some really hateful things in Spanish that I don't understand, but they're all really <laughs> mad right now. I I hate avocados. They're gross. And people are like, well, yeah, they're gross until you put seasoning on them. Bitch, an apple's good by itself. Like, <laughs> for fuck's sake. Yeah, I don't need to put pico de gallo and freaking, you know, oil or whatever and shit in there to make avocado good, right? Yeah, I mean, even, I mean you could even say that for onion. People are like, well, you don't need to just bite on an onion. Yeah, but you can saute it. I actually probably would, up. I would take a bite out of an onion. Raw onion? Yeah. I mean, I got to peel what? like the, the skin off first, but what? I'd do it. You got an onion at, at the at house? Let's see this. I, I I would do. like to I would like to get Dick down after this. So I would not like him to uh, breath. have an onion. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you do that? I don't, I mean, I don't know. I think sushi is overhyped. I think all seafood is overhyped. <laughs> yeah, but you have no say in it. I just don't, don't like. I don't seafood. like fishy flavored stuff. And everybody's like, "Oh, salmon's really good. Salmon doesn't taste like fish." And that is a bold faced fucking lie. They they lied to you. So salmon. It does taste like fish. I mean, well, you were part of the it, liars, you motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you do it right, I mean, you could do it right. But if you're just grilling up just regular just salmon, I mean, it's gonna have a fishy taste to it. I've I, I grilled my own salmon. You need to go with like a cod, okay? Like an Alaskan cod or something like that, like a white white meat. All right, now we're getting racist. Okay. I mean, <laughs> you brought it there. <laughs> Freaking racist fish over here. <laughs> Saying just white. just because it's white fish, it's better. I see where you stand. <laughs> just because it's white. No, it just doesn't Hashtag have a fish. Yeah, cancel me. Try it. 
Try it, bitches. Try it, you little fuckheads. <laughs> you little fuckheads! You little fucking... We can't ask Sammy what she thinks is overhyped because it's pretty much all vegetables. It's pretty much anything you just but, like, said all vegetables. Nuggies. Yeah, but I was specific about it. Yours is just green, so anything green. Okay, so, so Grimmy, if you... So, let's just say, like, I did, like, a, a spinach and, uh, like, cream like cheese. Spinach. spinach and cream cheese stuffed chicken. You, I'd go for it. You'd, you'd eat that? Oh, without a doubt. Sammy literally was like, no. not." You ever had it. spin dip? I, I actually haven't had spinach. You've never had... Are you, you talking about like spinach artichoke? Yeah. Or? Yeah. I've never tried you're, it. You're fucking missing out, bub. I'll have to try some. You, yeah, you, you can, can just definitely... Buy it, you can buy it in a jar like queso, right? No, 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 don't. No, no. Don't do make it. Make it. Okay. Make it. It's way better. See... That's like trying to make Kate or, you know, when you buy like, what's it like the fucking Tostitos or whatever yeah. pre-made queso type jar things. They never taste right. The white, it's always case, like, the white queso one's good. Yeah, it's pretty good for a jar one, but it's always like you know, you're missing something into it. Yeah. But you, once you homemade that shit, it's fucking out of this world. That's why I smoke my queso. Okay, well, you don't need to flex like that. Smoke queso. Smoke queso is so good. I would send you some if I didn't feel like I know it would we get ruined on the way. It would definitely get ruined. We're not <laughs> sending anybody any of my fucking. It's an incentive to things. come visit. How about that? <laughs> Listen, I have there's there's this fantastic mes- Mexican restaurant um, that has like they put uh, like ground beef and stuff into their queso. Mm-hmm. Fucking That's out of this world. Do you? Yep. Hmm. I make sure that the the meat sits on top when I make the queso, so the meat gets the smoke flavor also while it goes, and then we stir it in like later on. I don't think that these people smoke it. They they probably because, don't because because it's a you know restaurant. So yeah, I always wanted to go to those old like smokehouse restaurant or uh, you know those ones down in the south how they have like those pit masters and mm-hmm. they're fucking they got those fucking big things with oh, yeah. smokers that they built themselves and shit. I want to go to. Yeah, there's uh there's one here in town. It's called Cooter there... Browns. Cooter Browns. Cooter Browns Smokehouse. That I hope that their last name is Cooter. That <laughs> would be hilarious. Is. It probably is. I I mean we're in Hall, we're in Yeehaw first... Land down here. We are. You're in what? Yeehaw Land, is yeah. that what you said? Yeah, Hee Haw Land. Hee Haw. Oh, Hee Haw Land. <laughs> Hee Haw. Hee Haw. Hee Haw Land. <laughs> see and that's another thing i don't like about um this area is uh so their barbecue here is all pork all pork like they don't do beef barbecuing here at all at like, all no brisket no beef ribs like none of that it's just it's a shame really a straight pork. yes well i mean pork's pretty cheap so but I, I've always wanted to try Memphis style barbecue. Like I want, I want to go to Memphis and try some barbecue. Oh, it's so good! It's so good. I've never had it. Uh, I mean, I've had like the fucking bottles you can buy at like the grocery store. No, but it, like I said, it's not the same. And I, I know I'm fucking barbecue. missing out. I do want to learn how to make my own barbecue. Well, you're at that point in your life right now. I know. I'm. I'm there. <laughs> I've, you're there so when i'm when i when a uh when uh you reach about 40 years old you're gonna make a tough life decision it's gonna go one of three ways you're gonna get really into golf which you already are you're either gonna get really into smoking meat which you're already down that path or you're just gonna really care about your fucking lawn what about history? Nope. You get you get really into like World War Two history at some point in your life. Yeah, or you, I mean, or you could get really into U.S. wars. Yeah, America. <laughs> but you're kind of divided right now. You're gonna end up getting hurt, injured, and it's gonna leave you down out of doing golf, and then you're just gonna become a full time smoker of meats. I, I mean, I'm down with that, and Sammy's probably down with that too. I need, I need one of those big pit boss smoker, like big old thousand dollar smokers just make, which one do you I which have, which kind do you have i just have a, little, have like electric, a little one a little electric like vertical smoker. oh so you're cheating no it's you still put wood in it 
just no you know, it's not cheating it's uh Mike efficiency. likes to do this thing where he likes to do hobbies and he goes all out for these hobbies even if he's never done them before he's uh goes all out for these hobbies and then he decides that i don't know two months maybe even a year into it yeah this isn't really for me after we've already dumped thousands of dollars into hobbies listen i don't know why you have to call me out <laughs> in public like this listen it's so just so it's the uh I only spent like two hundred dollars on this one because I wasn't going to be out a thousand dollars on this really big, intricate, fancy ass smoker. If he's like, "Yeah, this is just too much work. I don't care." Okay, so I'm, like, okay. I'm going to justify my this this conversation of attacking me real quick because this is the type of person that I am. I like I'm, it when Mike gets attacked. <laughs> it's so great. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not a person who's really good at one thing. I'm a person who's like semi good at a whole bunch of shit multiple things <laughs> and so but i always thrive to be really good at stuff and then whenever that doesn't happen i move on to the next thing that i'm kind of good at to see if i might become really good at it but apparently i lack drive and effort or some shit so you know as it's, that it's, momentum, a, man. it's a life flaw of mine that it I'm, really is like he tried hunting with like a bow and arrow and he was that like was fucking hard He's like, oh, I'm not good at this. I, I give up. And I'm like, you literally just learned how to use this okay, bow and arrow but, this season. And you only went hunting three times. And you're like, yeah, it's too hard. I don't care. You know, I said the same thing. Actually, I've thought about it, too. I haven't I haven't, you know, no pun intended, pulled the trigger on it yet. But I thought about like, I was like, man, I could get a bow and like do like a little bit of hunting, maybe. And then I like get to thinking about it. I research and then I'm like. I just hate the fucking woods. Why would I want to do that? <laughs> That's me. <laughs> like, I don't want to be in the woods. I hate the woods. And then if I kill something, right, this this fucking deer, and say that it's like 120 pounds, well, I only have 50 more pounds on that bitch. So that's like dragging me all the way. God for, you know, God knows how long I shot it from. What if I walked like a half a mile in? Or a mile. Dragging a carcass through the fucking woods for a mile? Yeah, that shit's for the birds. You gotta get a, you gotta get a, a It's a really sled. good meat, though. Yeah, and you know what? Somebody else can kill it, and I will go for a butcher shop and buy it off of them. <laughs> it's not the same, though. It's, it's the really same. Not. I, I, no. I still get the meat either way without having to do the work. But the stuff at the butcher that you can go buy, it doesn't, it's not the same. Like, we did that in Germany. I difference? was like, I really want, like, some venison. I really want to make some stuff. And I opened it, and I was like, this is not, this, no. I, just think that I that, literally threw it away. I just think that that butcher just didn't know how to cut the meat. Yeah, so, it was so awful. It was to, awful. So you went My to a family, bad butcher. No, but like my family, like we will go hunt and like we process the deer from like death all the way to like cooking it. Like we gut it, you know, we skin it, we do all of that. You know how to do that? Yeah. I, I only question because people say we and they're like, well, no. No, she's, yeah, she's, I, she's no, done No, I really can't. <laughs> I've done it. Um, I'm not great at skinning it because I get like, you know, their, their fur is kind of like just wiry and it goes everywhere. No, oh, well, I, mean, it's wiry I don't think I've ever, everywhere. ever touched a deer before. They're, they're not soft. Like they're just, actually I have my grandfather they're has okay. some deer heads up there. I'll put on his wall. And I, I, okay. I, I think I do, but anyway, I've never had to skin one, nor do I have the ambitions to do it. It just seems like a lot of work and I'm trying to, keep people employed by paying them to do the work for me and me being lazy. See, I, I've, I've always like, I've never actually made a kill. I've never actually, I, I missed every time with the bow. I, believe like, it. I, I was there when my <laughs> friend killed it and gutted it. And I, you know, there's people Did you out even there. like sighted in. Cause apparently you can, you gotta like, sight those fucking things in like yeah tune them i mean in. it's like a gun but yeah it's got like a three-prong like 
thing for like different yardages on the arrow. The problem is you sighted it in, not me. So that's probably what it but was. See, here's here's the other. Well, you couldn't even pull the fucker back. So shut up. <laughs> <laughs> it was really heavy. It was a but 70 I sighted in your scope so. and everything else on your guns. But see, here's here's what I'm convinced by. OK, so when we got into this hunting thing and I had this bow, we when I got into yeah, this hunting he, thing and I, and I had this bow, right? You only did it so Sammy could so like Sammy bring back me memories like, of skinning people. So Sammy bought me this like two hundred dollar bow that was like you know it's something you would find at Walmart with like a plastic. It's a kit starter kit. bow. Yeah, to but, start you on your right, hobby journey, right. so that I don't waste okay. thousands hold, of dollars. Hold on, chill, chill for a second. I'm gonna, let me tell my story here. So. <laughs> I did the best I could with this beginner starter bow, whatever you want to call it. And my friends are rocking these like seven, eight hundred dollar, like nice ass bows that my friend could probably split an arrow with another arrow because one, he's done it his whole life, and two, he's got the equipment. So I'm over here rocking this freaking, you know, for lack of better term, piece of shit starter bow. That's why I was never good at it. If I had used the I think that has nothing. Equipment. So you I have think that to, has nothing to do with you it. You have to spend the money on the equipment. That's like me going and buying better. paying that four hundred dollars that I was talking to you yesterday for a scuff controller that's decked out and still being ass at Call of Duty. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I bought I, I or I built this, you know. Three thousand dollar gaming computer to be just shit, to get your just to be shit at caught at one hundred and twenty frames per second. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Or, well, just probably one hundred and fifty years. I don't know. Whatever it is, but just yeah. so I could watch myself die at fucking forty four or one hundred and forty fucking frames <laughs> instead of sixty. And that's how it was last night. You guys, I, I was the freaking. I was the one limping around. You guys I were... was shocked when I saw you on zero kills. But did you see my like, damage though? Okay, I had. I it had still like, wasn't there. I still had like two thousand <laughs> something damage. So I did a lot of work. I just didn't get any effort, or I didn't get any. It was any. And then, and then my my four thousand, and then Wicked's three thousand damage. So your damage reflected your score. You just you just took my place. That's Pretty all. much. I mean, you yeah. did. I think that's why he doesn't like the game with me and Wicked. <laughs> no, I don't mind because I get wins and I just get to, <laughs> I, I get to be the severely handicapped one that's just like, hey, we won. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm the one in the lobby fucking talking shit to everybody and like sit over here on zero kills. Ask me if I care. <laughs> Ask me if I fucking care. I mean, you do, but it's okay. What other hobbies have you done that you've given up pretty well, I'm, easily? I'm still working on golf. I just I took a little hiatus on it. Um, I was the super into working out for like a year, and then I ended up destroying my upper back, and that stopped me. Now hold on, it, it didn't stop me. So I, st I I had to stop for like six months or so, or. Th three to six months to, for it to kind of heal back up. And then I just lost the drive. You just, I, I you, lost you felt the comfortable want being to fat. do it. I did. It, and it goes back to that shirt. Um, I'm kind of fit, kind of fat. I like that I shirt. fucking want that, that shirt. Was, that was a so Tim the Tap Man shirt yesterday that he was wearing. Yesterday he was rocking at the UFC fucking thing. Kind of fit, kind of fat shirt. So is that actually his line or is that's no, that's not his line. He it's actually just some workout fucking line that somebody has some brand. I, I looked it up on some website, but he was rocking it. Did you find it? I did find it. It's online. It's got a web. They got a website. Right, you you can just Google them because that defines me as a person. They have a bunch of different ones like they have like their little thing and it's like kind of fit, kind of fat. And then on the back of the shirt, the one that I want has this giant fucking milkshake on the back of it yeah. and then they got ones with like tacos and stuff i'm it's not fucking... fat i'm fluffy yeah <laughs> gabriel and glacier is yeah. that his name yeah. 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 Ugh. i saw him live once did you yeah he's pretty funny he's a pretty funny dude the only comedians i've seen live are ron white and larry the cable guy really mm -hmm. have you seen ron white lately he got fucking not, old not lately no he's old i like think when old, i saw old. ron white i think it was like 
2010 maybe 2000 I went I went and saw the uh the impractical jokers live Dude did you did oh, you gosh. hear the freaking Joe quit Yeah I did I did hear Joe quit yeah That's so he, weird I uh, I heard Cause he that was, like, he's going through a divorce so Oh really Okay He that's... he quit the show to kind of spend time with his family and figure out his life and you know I never heard the reason why that's kind of crazy that that was what I heard. I don't know if that's so it was like right before true. they announced like their next season or whatever. Yeah, yeah. But Sal, I guess, has a bunch of. He's got his own podcast now too. Oh really? I'll have to check yeah. it out. It's uh. Everybody has a podcast. Yeah, that's podcasts are true. becoming a a thing. It's like Our all the it's like all the failed been... Twitch streamers just moving over to be podcasters it, or something. I don't don't group me it. in that category. Don't group me in that category. <laughs> I mean, you're just you're you're here out of out of pity for me. Yeah, pretty much. You only agreed to do it because you wanted to be involved without actually having to put in any effort. Yeah, all I have to do is wear cool makeup and you know, like wear nice outfits and like <laughs> just give your opinion on shit. <laughs> opinion on People shit. live for it. Live and, for and it, then, and then and then verbally attack you. It's great. People live for it. Do you know what? I probably could be a femdom to degrade men. You think so? And get paid for Would've it. I never thought. That's see, that's like a weird that's see, now you're falling into a weird kink type thing. Are we are we are we going full circle back to the kink things now? Yeah. But then that leads to that question. You're eager to have sex with this person, right? But when you walk into their bedroom. You see something that completely ruins the mood. What is it? A fist dildo. A fist dildo? Like one of these, you know, it's like got a suction cup on the backside. Oh. I'd be like, I'm never going to live up to that. We might as well just quit while we're ahead. I don't know. What? Sammy, what would, what would I don't do know. for you? What would be uh, like if you that's walked into their bedroom? That's a... A dude with a fist. <laughs> a dude. <laughs> yeah, you walk in and well, there's no, like, I there's I'd like, be like perfect. Bend over. Five other people with <laughs> fist dildos and each hand. So uh, like uh, 10 fist dildos. In a group. That's fine. Um, <laughs> I think another one for me would be. I have to think about this. You know, I don't. I don't really know either. We should have thought about this ahead of time, shouldn't we? <laughs> no. It's so just... I, I think mine would probably be something like, okay, I'm just weird in the sense that like, if you live in a house, I, I want there to be like evidence that you live there. So if I walked into your room and it doesn't even look like you live there or like you stayed there, that would probably be like, I'd probably be like red flags. Yeah. I don't know. That's maybe not like one of those things like ruins my mood. I, I feel would like just be like, um, I feel you... like a, 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 uh, almost like shelves, like along the wall, right? A bunch of them that like take up like three quarters of the wall of those porcelain dolls. Oh yeah, definitely. It would be done for. Yeah. The I whole, would just, the whole, I wouldn't like... even say anything. I would just turn around and just, just leave just <laughs> porcelain dolls. Brittany has like a couple of those porcelain doll things that she got. I think she got from like her grandmother when she was younger, but they sit in the basement in a corner covered up because they need to be. Oh, need, that reminds me. So don't need this, any of that devil. Trying to I used out. to have Aren't like in, in my. Basement, yeah, but it's in the other side of the basement. <laughs> in my childhood room, like in my parents house. I used to be like obsessed with stuffed animals. And so I had like uh, shelves across like the top of my room. And there was this one that my mom gave me that was hers. And it was like this monkey that had like, uh, symbols. The the symbol. But it wasn't one of those that like walks and it does that. It was just like this stuffed animal, but it had like that lifelike skin and eyes and stuff. And it would always end up in the front of these shelves no matter how many times i put it in the back lifelike skin like you know it didn't look like that just like normal plasticky like doll skin like Like it it looked yeah like it was like it was really weird and i hated that thing you burned it right? i I don't know where the fuck it is 
It's so, not in our house, though. <laughs> so have you ever heard of that place in, <clears throat> I think it's in Nevada, uh, the Clown Motel? It's supposed nope. to be haunted, right? I'll never go there, ever. But imagine being like, hey, honey, we're going on vacation. We're going to the Clown Motel. And no. Trying to have Divorce. Divorce. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I have a huge phobia of clowns. Just clowns in general? Are we talking like you see Ronald McDonald, you're fucking punching him in the mouth? Like, not like when it's like a cutout at McDonald's or whatever, but like. No, I'm talking about like actual Ronald McDonald. This dude yeah, shows no, I'd prob- up. I probably would, giant I probably fucking would shoes. have a, had a panic attack. Do I clowns still do. show up in circuses? Is that a thing? I don't. I've never been to a circus. I don't go to circuses, can... so. Is it because of the clowns? Yep. For real? Like, there for a while. You I couldn't go to a bull do... riding place, could you? Because they got the clowns and those fucking. They don't look. They barrels. don't look like normal clowns. If that makes sense. Like, I don't think that they look like normal clowns. But, but I do remember when I was younger, my parents did take me to a bull riding thing, and they were coming up into the stands to like get kids to like go do something, and they tried to get me to do it, and I. I lost my shit. You're about to be screaming kidnapped. Bloody murder. You avoided a kidnapping. Like, I was screaming bloody murder, like all this stuff. If my parents were like, um, you should just pick a different kid. But then <laughs> they were like taking you down to like go like it was like like doing like with the calves, like the baby cows. And you were like trying to practice being like a so I'm like, no, get the fuck so away from me. During the time of the the clown mania where people are dressing up as clowns and sitting on the fucking in the wood line. Or some shit, or walking down paths at like dusk. When the new, when the new it movie came out. Yeah, you were you were safe at home. I'm presuming. Oh yeah, no, no. If I would have seen that, there would have been. I'm surprised, oh. not as many people died from from trying to pull stuff like that. Yeah, I am too, actually. Yeah. Like you see this dude walk. You're walking down a path, right? in the woods and this dude with a clown costume comes up trying to fuck with you. I'm surprised somebody didn't pull something out or pick something out and beat the fuck out of them. In today's and, world, and, I mean, you can't prank people like that anymore. No, I mean, you probably get shot. Especially not women. I would say. I'd say women would have a, you'd have a higher chance of like them pulling a gun and just shooting. Have you seen their self-defense things? There's there's like this there's like a bunch of like self defense tools that that uh, they advertise to women and it's not just like pepper spray there's like these fucking like Spiked they're like brass non knuckle type things yeah but they're like non lethal they're not like brass knuckles you it's kind of like that but it's like a a non sharp dagger type deal where you like jab somebody in the fucking ribs it, oh is it the one that kind of looks like like a what you would think a unicorn horn would look like it's just like. Yeah, it's yay like big. yay big, and, and it's got like the little hook thing. You could put, put it on your keychain. Yeah, and you just and beat like, the fuck out of just, somebody with it. Oh yeah, yeah. There's yeah. that. Holy I've shit! I've seen like little keychain tasers that you can yeah, put on there. The Sammy non-lethal self-defense things are fucking nuts. You did. Sammy, you I need another one. You can go to jail I need for another that one. Shit. It wasn't an actual switchblade. It, so it was it was legal in the sense that it was uh, a push button out, but you had to pull it back in like manually so like it wasn't a technical like by definition switchblade because that one you can bring in and out with the button i guess but it was a yeah, po- it was a pokey go. boy not a cutty boy it was a sharp it's little, it's a little pokey one yeah poke poke but yeah we, uh, we need to get rid of it before we uh moved overseas because that, that was something that we couldn't bring with us I was extremely illegal over there. <laughs> <laughs> really? It's probably illegal where we were at too, but I mean whatever. I feel like over there they they, they don't like the whole self defense. I mean, they're more towards like non lethal. Yeah. I don't even think well, and, was and also over there. over there, like you don't have to worry about that shit. Yeah, because it's banned. Well that and like people just don't like you don't have to worry about I'm gonna go to this festival. And, like, I really hope I don't get snatched because people just don't fucking do that over there. Like, they're too busy minding their own business to worry about, am I going to snatch this person or not? I find they that hard don't. to believe after watching Taken. I think that you're fucking lying to me. <laughs> I can never go to wherever they were, France, Italy, wherever it is, because I'm going to get snatched up. I don't think anybody no. wants to take you. 
I'm pretty sure the entire world wants to take me. I'm, okay. I'm like 100% oh, sure. No, that's no. I'm like no. a blessing. That's, a, that's another reason I'm happy I'm fat, because <laughs> I'm harder to kidnap. Are you kidding me? I feel like you're easier. All they gotta do is throw a couple fucking Big Macs on the ground and you fucking walk your fucking ass down the road. That's, that's really fucking rude. <laughs> Come here, you. I got a, some smoked queso for your ass. With little breadcrumbs. <laughs> little breadcrumbs along the way. You come fucking waddling down the fucking sidewalk. <laughs> scurrying oh, down there. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh, piece of candy. No, no, no. Ooh, piece of candy. No, 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 no. <laughs> Sorry. That was a bit fucking rude. Be like, be like Dexter's Laboratory. <laughs> Freaking Dee Dee. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Sammy, I have a question for you. Oh, great. What would you do if you woke up with a dick tomorrow? Like, attached to you? <laughs> oh, I have a list. Or, like, what if you woke up and it says, like, a dude? Like, I have a list. I need to hear the list. I have a list. list. What, what are you immediately doing? I don't... I don't... Like, immediately like first thing you wake up, you touch yourself, and there's a freaking hanger. You there. realize you that do? you are now a ma uh, 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 a male. What well, first doing? of all, I would hope that I would have a morning wood, so I would know what it is. If I what if I didn't, I would be a little concerned that I didn't have a morning wood to know. You know exactly what that, that, how hard it is to pee with one. No, no, no. no. That's a, that's a legitimate fact. It's it's actually uh, medically for for a guy for medically wise, it's. You want to wake up with morning wood because when you stop waking up with one, it means you're turning towards like erectile dysfunction. I hate it here. <laughs> no, could you imagine though? Like Sammy, like finally wakes up with a dick, but she gets like a fucking like fifty-six year old man's penis that like doesn't fucking work. Oh my god! Be, old like, balls, like, like fucking saggy ass balls, saggy white, ass white pubes. balls. But but for research purposes, I would enjoy it because exactly how much saggier are they than like a 30 year old? Do they have gray pubes yet? Depends upon are they still as curly or, you know, do, like what? How does it your body chemistry change when you get old to be an old man? I'm do you pretty know sure what I'm you saying? just Google that kind of facts. But I probably could, but I need to find out firsthand. So what do you what do you so so the first thing you're gonna do, right, is you're gonna I'm gonna check my dick to make sure it works. Check your dick, right? So you wake up, you 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 have your erection that you're looking for, and then you're gonna go straight to pee. hundred percent. I just need to make sure it is as hard as you all make it seem. To pee? With I, an I erection. Think she meant the yes. Yeah, I mean, with an erection, because you always tell me it's so hard to piss when I have an erection. It's, so it is. I need to, it's I need to, to see pee when you're fully. Erect. It is. I yeah. need to see. It's almost it's okay. So there's a true. difference between like waking up with with morning wood to go pee, and then being like in the moment moment turned on, and then trying to pee. See, that's what I need to find out. If there's I had a, a difference. Dick. And then, so then, so my have you ever list like planked the toilet to pee with a? hard on because like, you couldn't get it to go down enough to aim it so you just I had like, a, you, you gotta stand it. like you gotta stand like fucking eight feet away to fucking get the fucking angle to make it into the toilet my kid did that the other day just, no but away. like okay my away. list okay yeah my list continue. right so continue. obviously After i have to eight. jerk off have because to. i i i have to know how that feels for a man Right, and how how a load feels coming out when you jerk off, right? And then it's really not that great. <laughs> Last like <laughs> yeah, three seconds. And then then it's like, okay. I need to find someone or multiple someones, maybe a man and a woman, to give me a blowjob to see who does it better. You know, um, okay. You know, for for research purposes, <laughs> I've never okay. had I've never had one from a man, so I. So I then, can't answer that question for I you. I feel like it's just based on, you know, experience at that point. I, I don't really think it, it matters between, between the sexes. I don't know. Continue. Um, and then, then I obviously, I have to, I have to fuck anything. I had to obviously have to do one with a condom. 
and without just to see if you guys are right that it does feel better without you know um and then on. then then i have to do vaginal and anal to see what the hype is okay <laughs> It's thought about so this. You, so you're I pretty really much, have, you, I need you, about 72 hours to complete all of this. I don't think you need 72 hours. <laughs> I mean, you can just do a majority of that in probably like 30 minutes. 30 minutes tops. But that's 72 hours just to make sure that I actually have all the scientific research I need, you know? Maybe no. I need to feel the difference between a male butthole and a female butthole. She would, um, she would definitely helicopter. She would attempt to helicopter. I feel I like mean, she, yeah, she's missing the best part, and that's. I might part. for a couple minutes, but like I, that's not what my science. I, that's not what I'm about for scientific research. I just need to. Then you got to try to make it clap. You got to tuck it I, in between your legs and stand there like you have a vagina you, again. Yeah, like your like your dick's gone. You got to goat somebody. You're missing all. You see, you, and that's that's the issue. And it's not your fault. You're just immediately going to the sexual stuff. You're missing out on the benefits of being able to tuck your dick in between your legs and then bending over while somebody walks over so they can see your fucking dick and balls hanging right there underneath their ass. Another thing it's is, it's a majestic she's gotta, thing. She's got to walk. A distance, so she understands the the step. And I have to do, you know, the you know the step to like unstick it from your leg. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta, no, you gotta, I would just wear you gotta try to. No, no, no. You can't. You have to get just a regular <laughs> pair of underwear, and then you have to make those. Try to make those un like uh, noticeable adjustments. Yep. Then I have to then I have to poop and see exactly what what your dick and balls do. And then you have to when sit you're down. taking a shit. They do nothing. They right. just hang. Just there. It's yeah. just it's it's mind boggling to me. Do Why? they all hang in the toilet, or does your like do you sit it on the toilet yeah, seat, yeah. or what do you? No, nobody <laughs> nobody takes their penis and flops. If you do, so help me God, I will cry and chop you in the fucking. So here's the, the the cringe part that she has to she has to get part of is whenever your penis touches the front of the toilet bowl when you're sitting there. Oh and you God. just feel so fucking gross afterwards. <laughs> you do. <laughs> like I feel like I just got herpagonocyphilates because my dick just touched the front of this public toilet. Okay, my dick just touched it. I have. Uh, I'm gonna we die. have to hover. But that's what? a that's just a toilet seat. Like you don't. I'm talking see, about like the inside of the bowl. Here's my theory. Here's yeah. It's the. Do you know how disgusting it. toilet seats are? Yeah. Listen. But... So here's here's my theory. Right. And you say, oh, we have to hover. Well, you and every other fucking female out there does that shit. So who's sitting on to it? Nobody. The you ones, could be the, the only one unable to hover. sitting down. Which I, I think, think is so. the point. If if you're to the point you can't hover anymore. I'm just saying I'm, I'm stereotyping that you're kind of nasty. I don't know why. <laughs> do you do you hover when you poop, Mike? I don't. You go to a public public bathroom. I, I try not to poop? poop in public because I don't like my dick touching the front of the toilet. It's haunted me to the point that I would rather poop at home. Well, he just got to be fucking. So I'll hold careful. it for two I mean, days. He holds to it avoid forever, pooping so. in public. Unless I can't hold it. Like if I can't hold it, you just, well, just sit on. But they have those like rice paper toilet covers now that don't ever work. Okay, you're at a porta shitter, and you got to poop. Mm. Are you hovering or are you sitting? I think I might try to hover on that one. I might, I might do like the whole like stand on the sides and like, you know, monkey poop <laughs> down into it. You know? <laughs> that's a see. That's a lot of that's, that's a lot of strain. That, you're not even. Right there, you're no, not even, no, it's not straining. That's the point. That's why yeah, they have you're a trying to you're trying to hold your ass up, like not touching. There's a lot of focus. There's a that, lot happening. That's why what they have squatty bodies. <laughs> you, you, what you, you, slip, slip? you slip you fall <laughs> you know you're fucking losing it something's going in that in the shitter and it's either going to be your hand your foot listen your phone if your phone fell in the shitter if how i didn't much feel shit? i was coordinated enough to do the monkey poop i wouldn't do the monkey poop if if your phone fell into but we're talking about a porta john so usually there's like not just like a single toilet like there's like a whole bench with like a hole in it with a toilet seat 
Yeah, I know. So I'm not going to fall in do? that. I got plenty First of room. First of all, you're not spreading your legs to fucking make it up onto there. I mean, maybe you're gonna I'm like, shit on the like wall. this. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to shit on um, the wall. Shit's going to go everywhere. No, you're pointed straight down. It's not going back. It's going down. No, if you have to. How are you climbing, standing? Am I going to have to demonstrate this right there. now? Yes. I'm right. going to have to see it because there's a small bench with a hole into it. <laughs> There's no way you're fucking going down, bub. No, because you're shitting in the hole. There's no feet right there. My There's chair, no foot My spot. chair's not wide enough to get both feet. But I would be I would more spread apart. There's no way. There's no way. Yeah, there's no way in hell you're you're successfully doing that. You know, I'm gonna try it now. Just I'm gonna try it. Okay, say say your phone right falls into the 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 porta potty. How are you going after it? No. And if so, mm -mm. if so, <laughs> how full until you just decide not to go after it? Not going at all. Leaving Could be it? a fresh fresh <laughs> fresh blue liquid down the bottom. That shit's staying there. It's you're not going after it. You're no. not making the. the I don't do the poo, in. man. The, the poo is not for me. Yeah, but it's not, it. there's no poo. You just said it's fresh. There's no poo in it. Just blue water. Okay, still not going after it. Still not going for it, huh? No, because, I mean, I don't want to come out looking like fucking Blue Man Group over here and trying to fish my <laughs> phone out of the porta shitter. Getting a new one. Like, looks like I just, just looks like, it. Looks like I just fisted a fucking Blue Man, okay? <laughs> fucking just, just fisted, fisted a Smurf. A smurf. <laughs> <laughs> Jinx. <laughs> yeah, so you're not going after it. You're just cutting it as a loss. I'm Sammy, you? You going after your phone if it falls in the shitter? Probably. How full? I mean, if I could reach it, then I'll probably go after it. Yeah, but there, if, if, there's some turds in there. I'm a mother. He's doing the He's downward dog right now. I have <laughs> caught shit, vomit, and everything else in my hands. I have cleaned up Mike's shit and vomit. It yeah, but does those, not bother me. Those are from people you know. It does not bother We're me. We're talking about a little bit of poo from an unknown source on your phone. It's still going. I got a it. lot of baby pictures on my phone. My kid. Okay. Since Mike decided to throw away a bunch of his baby art stuff. Listen, it was in a trash bag. My fault. I feel you like. put it in the trash bag. It was in a Walmart bag on top of a pile of trash. <laughs> what was I supposed to expect? You put there. I would have done the same thing and that shit would have ended up in the trash. You put it in the trash bag. Why do we need it? For memories. Uh -huh, what go. what if something happens? Memories. Memories live here. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Until Sammy. you get old and you can't fucking remember shit. I already can't. Well, well then, I mean, I bet, I bet money your mom has shit from your childhood. Probably so. Okay then. But yeah, see, she, 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 she also has room again. to store that shit. We don't. Yeah, know. but they didn't. They didn't have. They didn't have phones back then. <laughs> That's true. So, I wouldn't have a phone either if it fell in the porta john. Mike wouldn't have it either. It would be fucking underneath someone's turd. Maybe if I had one of those grabber arms and just like grab it out and then I would my phone would be a wash. It would be it would be done. I'd just go get a new one. It doesn't matter. I it Well, see, the good thing is like most phones are like waterproof now. So like if you did drop it, it in matter. there, you could still gone. spray it off and nope. get what you need off of it. You cannot get that phone clean enough in my eyes to even fucking be able to come close to my face anymore. No, it's not going to come close to your face. You're just going to you're going to get it out. You're going to spray it off. You're going to hold it, it with a rubber glove and you're going to transfer all the data off of it into your new phone. <laughs> it is, hey, I'm going to go right down to the Verizon and then store. That one's, one's going to get fucking burned. everything into a new phone. <laughs> And explain to them what happened and why my phone's fucking blue. So I used to work for AT&T uh, at the phone store where you people would come in and get new phones. The How worst phone accident I've ever seen was a guy whose phone fell into a wood chipper. And he brought, he the, he brought the phone back in and was like, yeah, are you going to be able to get anything off of this? I'm like, oh, like, okay. So on the iPhone, right? Like literally. So like where the screen is at. I don't yeah. want to turn on you, bitch. Like, 
literally like this part of the screen up was gone. God like damn. gone. Like just like sliced clean fucking off. And then the screen was like all shattered and shit. Phone wouldn't even turn on. But he's like, yeah, can you get my date off of this? I'm like, nah, bro, you shit's done. Yeah, you are up shit's <laughs> creek without a paddle right now. Like half the battery just came off with the top of the phone. Okay, like I'm surprised <laughs> it didn't explode. You think it would explode? I think it. I took it a picture of it though. I took a picture of the phone for proof that nobody's gonna believe this shit. Did you save it? No, no, it was it was done. I couldn't even turn it on, so I couldn't get anything off the of picture. it. The picture, the picture. Oh, yeah, I don't know if I still have it, but I I used to have it. So you toss it away. Doesn't matter. Anymore. Let me see. It's probably in my Google Photos because I mean I worked at AT and T like a long ass fucking time ago. It's never there. So, yeah, like back in 2016. Yeah, 2016. Let me see. Yeah. Let me see if I have it. It's probably in here somewhere. Damn, I am tired Stop today. Something so tired. Why you haven't done anything? I've been doing laundry. I've been dealing with my child because Mike was like, uh, "I'm not getting up yet." I know he slept in quite a bit. I did. He did, and I have asked like for the last kept two me weekends up, like, playing games or something. Little. I have asked head. him for the last two weekends to let me sleep in, and guess what? I don't he think doesn't care. I don't think you sleep when you're dead. That's right. You can sleep when you're dead. <laughs> Probably die quicker than you. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> keep but, it up. Especially if I did, keep talking shit. Did Brittany shit. buy the makeup thing? No. I don't know. She probably did, knowing her. I didn't buy the super expensive one. I bought the one without all the PR stuff. Mike's going to die there from There's the picture. accidental slippage into a Porsche. That's the picture oh. of the phone. I'm surprised that's all that happened to it. Well, and why did he and he dropped the phone in there? Was there like emergency stop where he just probably. like? I mean, most wood chippers have like pulled it out. Stops now. I, I mean, Uh-oh. I guess he stopped it and pulled it out, but yeah, I couldn't even get it to turn on. <laughs> Grammy's freezing. You're freezing. You're freezing. Frozen right now. Yep. Your internet's taking a shit again. It's time to call call them and get their shit reset. Yep. Which is fine because I think that's a good place what? for us to end the story. Uh, end- company, fuck them. Yeah, fuck Comcast. <laughs> yeah, fuck them. But yeah, anyways, I think that's a good ta- good place to end the the the, uh, the show today. Um, just a reminder that the next show that we do is going to be um, where we're going to be your sex therapist, and uh, you can still click that link in the description of this video or the description of the podcast. And go fill out a uh, Google form to ask us a question as your sex therapist. I think so, I'm going to have to get one of those really like wool jackets, like a therapist has. I want to get uncomfortable. A, I want to get a fucking. Hot. I want to get a bubble uh, <laughs> pipe, blows bubbles out of it. That's a good idea. But I think Spencer's has one of those. That that's going to be our next show. So. Um, guys help us out submit those questions for us i think we've got about 13 questions um we would love to have more if we have too many for one show we'll obviously do a second show and incorporate more questions but we can't have too many so um yeah. but make sure you check that out uh the link like i said will be in the description of the video and or if you're listening on spotify amazon music it'll be in the description of the episode so check it out um and yeah. until next time i think uh I think we'll be back next weekend because we're we're going out of town for the fourth, but we'll be back. So, we'll be back, bitches. Bitches. So yeah. Uh thanks guys for listening, and we will see you guys next time. Check us out on YouTube, Spotify, uh, check out our TikTok, Instagram, and all that kind of good stuff, Twitter. But all right, y'all. Good episode. Mike, Talk to you all later. Bye, bitches. Bye, bitches. <laughs>